I get this question a lot when you're installing Windows 7 on a PC and you're currently running XP as your primary operating system you're going to need to do a fresh install or partition the drive so let's say you're convinced that Windows 7 is going to be your next operating system and you just want to um, do a fresh install of Windows 7 over your current hard drive uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to back up your data and uh, a really really simple way to do that would be to use a program called Carbonite. What Carbonite does is it automatically runs in the background it will take and basically um, grab all of your data it will encrypt that data which means it's it's basically breaking it into um, jumbled up pieces so that if um, somebody were to intercept the transfer of data they would not be to, able to unscramble it into a usable format. It takes that encrypted data and pushes it off-site onto an off-site uh, storage uh, like a server um, but basically it's always running in the background you don't even have to think about it. Um, now the it does have some nice application if you have an iPhone there is an iPhone app for Carbonite where you can actually get your files that are backed up. In addition, um, it is nice uh, because it's always running in the background. You don't even need to think about it. $54.95 uh, per year. I mean, that's really nothing when you think about um, you know, the, the, the data that you have and, and how valuable it is. Um, now, if, if and and you can you can store you can send as much data out there as you want. There is no limit. Now it has to be the primary hard drive of the system you're operating from. So that means you can't just continue to plug in your uh, USB drive or add another hard drive to the system. It's just going to recognize that one hard drive. Now another alternative is Mosey and Mosey works a little bit differently um, it's it's kind of pay-as-you-go there's certain rates for uh, the data that you send out there uh, I believe they do have um, memberships of like four uh, four or five bucks a month and that would be um, unlimited online backups um, you know for your personal files um, it, it will encrypt the data it will also send it off-site um, of the two, I've used both Carbonite and Mosey. I would say Carbonite is a little bit superior as far as a more user-friendly experience. Um, Mosey does uh, tend to, you, you do have to kind of um, understand it a little bit more and make sure that it's it's up and operating. And typically, it's you, you do have some other control features with Mosey. I, I don't know, I just, I, I kind of liked the way Carbonite felt, but both of them are excellent. Um, services. Um, the the third and probably the most complicated is Amazon S3. Now I only say that because um, it works more like a FTP server and so what you're doing is you're connecting to a server on the Amazon S3 network and S3 stands for um, Simple Storage Service once you're connected you're just dragging and dropping your data across that um, platform and the data is not um, generically encrypted it's unencrypted it's sent over the network um, all of these services the biggest disadvantage that you have is that it does take a long time to back up these files I wanna say for every gig it's gonna take approximately um, 30 minutes to an hour to transfer where if you're backing up uh, one gig of data onto an external hard drive there again depending on your har external hard drive speed but you're looking at maybe um, you know five to ten minutes to to just transfer that data over um, now what I've used in the past with Amazon S3 which I do like is the Firefox plugin what the Firefox plugin enables you to do, it sets up kind of a control panel for Amazon S3. Um, the cool part about Amazon S3 is you always have access to your files. They're one click away. It, it's, it becomes part of your, uh, your browser, essentially. 
and it's unlimited. You can send out as much data as possible as you want. Now they are going to charge you, and and there's this matrix that I wanted to show you. And if you ever figure it out, let me know. Send me an email. But here's the pricing for it. So they're going to charge you to move the data off-site. They're going to charge you for the storage of data. And then if you need to download your data again, if you actually need to recover, there's a charge for that. Now it's it's pennies. I've I've moved over moved over. Um, it was about a hundred gigs last month. I want to say it was like two bucks. So it you know it's incredibly scalable. It's a very low cost system. Um, but there again, you know if you want just something that's really really simple, just totally running in the background. That's going to be Mosey or Carbonite, and I somewhat prefer Carbonite over Mosey, uh, but both are good. And a great uh, video on how to set up Amazon S3 is this one, which is you just type in Amazon S3 onto YouTube, and this guy, Mr. Uh, video, um, asked Mr. Video. He did a really nice video on how to set it up because there's these um, passwords and keys that you have to generate and it, it can be a little bit confusing for you know the average user but all three of these systems are, are going to be um, good for you. Okay so here's the Amazon S3 with the uh, Firefox plugin and what you'll notice here is I can go to any one of my folders and just um, upload the file straight across. It's going to ask me to pick one of these. They call them buckets, but um, you know, basically I can put it in any one of these, uh, these places and it will tell me the progress and, and all of that. The reason why I think a lot of people like this is your files are totally accessible. So I can go into any one of these little libraries here and um, it's going to basically pop my files. I'll be able to, you know, um, I have pretty, you know, good control over the files. So, you know, if I have a, a PHP file and I need to pull that across, um, I can download it fairly quickly. Boom, it's right there on my desktop. I see the progress, um, the data, and there again, that all stays up on the cloud. So it's on my desktop and it's also up in the cloud. There again, total redundancy is is you know in the system. Um, one of the things that a lot of people forget to do is they forget to back up their passwords. I found this great product called LastPass. So what you do is you load this in. You go to all your websites you know that you're going to. You make sure that you save all your passwords, and then you just log in to LastPass every time you you know once you upload you know uh, Windows 7 you would obviously load the um, you load the appropriate browser and then from there it has this little uh, login function uh, login right here to mine it's gonna pop and you'd have this one password logs you in and and then it's gonna give you access to all of your passwords so So here's all the sites that I, you know, go to, and it will tell me how long ago I was on those sites, etc. But it, they're all stored here. You can have multiple, uh, peop, you know, different people, stuff like that.